Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here today. I received a question from a viewer basically wanting to know what photo printer he should buy. And that's like asking what car I should buy or what camera I should buy. We need a little bit more detail, so I asked further what was his intentions. He wants to produce gallery quality prints basically around the 17 inch width, so capacity. So of course that eliminated all of the 13 inch printers. Oh, also he wanted to spend less than $2,000. Well, I can easily fill that order for you as there are three basic currently available printers that will actually produce beautiful gallery quality prints. The first one, and this might be a little bit difficult to obtain because I think it's out of production, maybe the 3880 from Epson. It's an excellent printer. I have one that's fairly new and I am using it just with OEM ink, which is the best way to go. Now, nine color printer uses Vivid Magenta, Magenta and Light Magenta. So your reds, oranges, strong lavenders will reproduce beautifully with it. It has full third-party support in case you want to go that route. It does not support roll printing, but it has pretty much almost unlimited uh, panorama capabilities. You would just simply have to create some gizmo to hold the long sheets of paper that you would cut from rolls that are 17 inch wide. That is a good choice if you can find one. Now, currently available, PA-100, 17 inch printer, full roll support. Again, I have one. I have the roll adapter, which runs a couple of hundred dollars, but it's worth it, let me tell you. I found it actually on sale, and so I paid a lot less than that. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have purchased it. You know me. Both printers sell for about just under a thousand dollars new. In fact, 3880 might be just under nine hundred dollars. I'm not keeping tabs too much with current prices as I always buy my printers either slightly secondhand or really, really good sales. The last printer, the P800, uses the new high definition ink set. Basically, it's the same set of colors as a 3880, but deeper blacks, better reds, better everything, just slightly. Can you see that in print form? Maybe, maybe not. It depends on your image. Some images that will normally tax the hell out of the 3880 would probably print effortlessly on the PA-100 due to those new improved inks. Third-party support, we thought we had some, but no, and you can look up previous videos I've done on that subject. Right now, we are at a standstill with a PA-100. If you ever even tried some refillables, now your printer is locked to OEM inks only. So if you're just going to print with original inks, then that is a go-to printer. Produces beautiful results. Long, long panoramas, which is great. Roll print capabilities, you can just print on banner mode, knocking out 17 by 24s like there's no tomorrow. All right, again, just under $1,000. Great printer, very reliable, and also nine color. But the flagship at that particular class, 17 inch wide class, the Canon Pro 1000. I have a Canon Pro 1 right over there. And that one is 13 inch capacity, but the Pro 1000 is 17 inch capacity. Though it can only print to 25.6 inches in length. So that's it, no panoramic type capabilities, but who cares? The printer has vacuum assisted paper travel, which would have solved the problem I was having with my PA-100 in Red Rivers San Gabriel paper. It has 12 color ink palette, folks, including blue. And the 
tonalities that it can reproduce are unparalleled. If you have seen my previous video where I showed you some of the prints that I just knocked out of the uh, ballpark with that Pro 1 last night, you can see what I'm talking about. And imagine an improvement even over those results. So the Pro 1000 sells for about $1,200. As of yet, no third-party support, although we are working on it. We'll have something within the next maybe three to four months. It's going to take that long. And I am out there asking people that own a Pro 1000 and can supply me with some empties. And that way we can develop a good, reliable refilling method and single-use chip installation method that will be easy for all users to embrace if they choose to go that route. If you do not, then that's fine. You stick with OEM, you'll have absolutely glorious results with that printer. So that is it. Those three printer categories covers the 17-inch class of photo printers. In other words, home type photo printers. And so either one you choose will produce wonderful results, but I tend to lean toward the Pro 1000 and hopefully in the next four or five months I should have one here. All right, that is it. I hope that was enough of an answer to your question. Again, I'm going to provide you, you know who you are, I'm going to provide you with my number and we'll talk before you take that step, before you uh, pull the trigger, as they say. So thank you once again. Please subscribe, share, and like. If you want to join Patreon.com and support my channel, it's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash J Toolman, J-T-O-O-L-M-A-N. That would be awesome. I would appreciate that. It's only a couple of bucks, a buck or, a, or two bucks a month is all I ask. And that way we know that we're going to have steady income because YouTube earnings go up and down depending on the advertisement placed on videos. Some days you get nothing. Some days you get, you know, $5. And so it is very iffy. And we need that income to be able to put it aside, collect it, and then buy that Pro 1000 I'm working on. And so that is my goal. So if you want to join as a patron, go ahead and go to www.patreon.com forward slash J Toolman. And I would appreciate it immensely right here, my friends. All right. Thank you once again. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Did I say that already? Yes. And happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.